Welcome to the third video in the Cloud Shell Overview video series on automating infrastructure provisioning. The focus today is to show how blueprints play a key role in facilitating infrastructure automation so users can get to their environments faster and more efficiently. I've talked previously about how IT can be overwhelmed with a significant amount of user requests to access and use infrastructure, creating a bottleneck and frustrating users in the process. CloudShell solves this problem by enabling IT admins to provide users with self-service access to Quali's Blueprint Catalog, which was addressed in the previous video. Building the right blueprint sharply reduces time-consuming demands on IT by providing users with real-time, on-demand access to infrastructure. This means that users can be comfortable knowing that interacting with infrastructure and accessing cloud resources through CloudShell will always be in compliance. CloudShell contains the building blocks, scripts, and other elements built into the Blueprint. I will cover how to design and build relevant Blueprints specific to the need of an organization using these building blocks. These Blueprints can be configured with all the technology components, both virtual and physical, as well as security policies using role-based access control, for example, and orchestration logic necessary to provide automated self-service access to infrastructure. It's also important to note that Cloud Shell Blueprints are made up of reusable and configurable components called shells. A shell is constructed to enable users to interact with different elements like physical and virtual appliances. A shell also models a sandbox element in Cloud Shell and provides commands that Blueprint designers can implement to automate the process, such as power on, start stop traffic, or health check functions. There are many supported shells that can be downloaded from Quali's Community Partner Integrations page. Let's open up Cloud Shell and take a closer look. For the scenario in this video, I will assume the role of a Blueprint designer. When building out the Blueprint catalog for an organization, I first need to assess the types of components or building blocks that will most likely be commonly used by my organization. I will be building out a private cloud network so that our test engineering team, for example, can validate their software builds as they iterate. My build out will include standard network components and applications such as a database, a router, a load balancer. I will also include a resource to measure performance. Once I complete this blueprint, it will act as a baseline config that will be readily accessible to various teams, including the test engineering group, to spin up on the fly. This is the key value of Cloud Shell and Blueprints. The first screen upon logging in is the Blueprint Catalog. As the designer, once I build the blueprint, it will show up here as an option for any test team to access anytime. To start, I click to create a new blueprint to get this blank canvas. The first resource I would click on is Apps and Services. Apps are representations of cloud resources that hold the information required to deploy, configure, and delete instances on a specified cloud such as AWS, Azure, or vCenter. Services are resources that are used to model components that are not physical or virtual machines, such as cloud services that will interact with blueprint resources. Let's go ahead and add what a test team will need. I'll first add a database by searching for an SQL server here and then dragging that on. I'll now search for a Windows server as well. I'll type it in the search field and then drag that on. I select the deployment path. In this case, I'll select vCenter. I'm also going to add a web server and then drag that onto the canvas. I select the deployment path. I'll select vCenter. I will also add a load balancer to distribute the workload to the different servers by dragging that on as well. I will also add an application that measures performance. I can also select a VLAN service by doing a quick search for VLAN. I'll select and then add the automatic VLAN option. Next, I will click on resources. Resources contain all the options and information required to configure, connect, and access specific physical resources represented. I will next add a router. So I'll go ahead and search for one, select the Cisco Nexus router, and drag that onto the canvas. So far, I'm set for now on apps, services, and resources. There is the option to add abstract resources, but I won't add any for this demo. However, it's important to note that these resources, indicated with the dotted border, are a way of adding a placeholder for a resource if one is specified by function and not by type. CloudShell will find a similar resource within the inventory that will resolve into an actual resource that fulfills the requirements. This allows Blueprints to be dynamic and offer a larger group of physical resources to users. Once the Blueprint components are defined, I can now connect all of it together. There are three connectivity layers supported within Blueprints. 
L1 are direct physical connections between physical resources. L2 are VLAN network connections between physical or virtual resources. And L3 are subnets for virtual elements. With that, the Blueprint Diagram components are complete, and I can move on to the Blueprint properties. Here, I can set some basic attributes such as the Blueprint name, image, description, and modify default reservation durations. Categories will help to group Blueprints so they are easier to find within the Blueprint catalog. And the Save Sandbox checkbox will enable the Save Sandbox workflow to be available to users that reserve the sandbox. Even after a blueprint is designed, it is still a good idea to create instructions to go along with it. These instructions are displayed to users, reserving a blueprint to give them the background information they need to easily use the blueprint themselves without needing in-depth Cloud Shell experience. The instructions make this easy by being able to include images, embedded videos, and even customized HTML code. This concludes our demo. I invite you to try Cloud Shell for free by going to www.quali.com and clicking on the Start Trial button.